Hello and welcome to the Gaming Zero with you in another video about Warframe. In today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the most complicated topics in Warframe: the zones. The zones in Warframe is like when I started this game, it took me a long time. I would be looking for a guide like this, like seven years ago or something, to understand what zones are, how they work, how to. It is crazy. Okay. And if you are here watching this video, there is a reason for that. Because you don't know either uh, what, what is the zoo, and or, or the other case is you know what is the zoo, but you don't know how to, to craft them. The other option is you know how it is the zoo and how to craft them, but, but you don't know what is the best combinations. Because you can create like, en not endless, but a lot of combinations while you go with the same zone with, the fri with your friend, but your friend making more damage than you. And you are like, oh, what the heck, we're using the same zone. But no, your friend did something different in his zone, which make him stronger and have more damage than you. Okay? Now, Hank is here. I'm going to explain to you everything. So after you finish this video... You're not gonna be wandering around and the reason you are here so to I make it as simple as possible for you and of course like anyone else of course you've been in this page and the reason you're watching this video is because you don't know what the heck is all these numbers and numbers and numbers and numbers I'm not I want to play the game I'm not a nerd so I let the nerds explain okay so I'm gonna make it very 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 simple for you okay to craft a zoo, you need first of all to go to Cetus. Okay? Cetus in Earth. And then you press escape, fast travel to the. Uh, we are RM uh, already. To the Hawk. Craft, purchase zoos, trade, modify crafted zoos. This is very simple. This is the first step you do. The second step you do is you come speak with them. Of course, after you earn some reputation. Okay, you come here, you browse wares. This is where you get the parts for the zoo. It's very simple, guys. I'm making it as simple as possible. This is where you get the parts for zoo. In this shop, you're gonna find the same type of uh, the zoo, like the, like the zoos you're gonna find, for example, Bala blueprint. You're not gonna find Bala two blueprint. And for example, let's say Pay Grip. You're not going to find PE2 grip. Means there is only one version of the grip and the uh, blade. Simple. Okay. But in the other hand, this, my friend, you can uh, have different types. For example, you can find Ruhang 2. Ruhang. So always when it has number 2, I mean it's the better version of the uh, basic one. Simple as that. Okay. Uh, then you get what you need after this video you will know what you will need to get okay i'm trying to speak slow and trying to make you understand very well you go to for zoo okay now the zoo have three things the strike like we said there is only one version of the strikes the grip there is only one version of the grip and there is the links if we go in the links you're gonna find j okay j ruhang um J, Ruhang, Aquana J, Virg, uh, Virgit, Virgit J, okay? You get the idea now. So, this, like, let's say that was like for beginners, you know, beginners, they just started the game, they just level one with Cetus, let's give them J, just, just add it, they create their first Zo and so on and so on. The more you advance in the game, they get more stronger and better and we're gonna explain them all don't worry don't worry don't worry i got you guys as you can see this is the strikers we, when i say striker it's like the head of the weapon the head of the weapon and when we say grip is how to hold the weapon holding one hand holding two hand long holding weapon medium size and so on everything have effect okay now you understand what where you get the zone where you purchase the blueprint for the zoo, how to craft the zoo. Now you get that basic, uh, basic, okay? That was for beginners who doesn't understand what are those, as this video is 
for beginners and medium players and veterans that have no idea what Zoe is. You can be veteran, you are legendary one and you don't know what Zoe is. I mean, you just craft them and you don't know what the heck they are. Okay, so starting with the strike. Remember, we spoke the head. Okay, the strike, my friend. This strike, as you can see, there is all the list of the strikes. Okay, I'm gonna go just down here to show you they are in a uh, picture. Sorry, uh, I didn't take off the, take out the page. So, repeat. So this is the, all the uh, strikes. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go down here so you see them better. So Bala, for example, this the head, the strike can go as dagger or staff, which and uh, it have puncture. Okay, uh, CF can go machete or pull arm and it have slash Dita uh, ha can go rapier or pull arm it have puncture Dokram it have can is go sith or uh, heavy blade it can have slash the crunch can go machete or pull arm have impact muan can go uh, sword or pull arm have slash uh Ulta can go sword and staff and have slash uh rabbi can go machete and hammer and have impact sifan can uh, can go nikana or staff and have slash Plague Kiwar can go Sith or Staff and have Viral. And Plague uh, Creepath can go Rapier and Polar have Viral. Now, why he reading all this? I will tell you why. Because every single player in this game have one favorite. Like when you look at it, you say, oh, this is my favorite. This is There is players love Bala. There is players love Crunch. There is players love Miwar. There is players love Sifan. Doesn't, for example... For example, Sifan is better than Mi1, but there is players love it. So that's why I'm trying to discover for all the players. So bear with me, please. Okay, now we go up here. Every single one of them have its own uh, stats. Okay, just the striker we're talking, just the striker. The head of the weapon have its own. For example, it can go one uh, type one hand range. Type two hand range. What changes from one hand to two hand? It changes the um, uh, the polarity. Like Naromon, uh, Vazarin, uh, you, you get it. Like the way, the modding uh, polarity. Okay. Moving forward, each one of them, for example, Duk uh, Dukram have three hundred and nine base damage, 46 uh, impact, one hundred eight puncture, one hundred fifty four sla for slash, and doesn't have viral as base with speed of 0.083 you get it now to build you a memory memory muscle to build you a memory muscle any any think about zoe have lower speed stay away from it okay anything have low speed stay away from it simple simple okay now, if we go rank them with speed, for example, like for, for example here, we go Dukram, as you can see, it have 80, 0 0.083, it have 0 0.83, this is the base, the base of the weapon, the base, okay, and so on and so on and so on and so on, okay, and now we're moving to the crit chance, so this one have, uh, the plague creep path have the highest, 22%, Sifan have 20%, okay, and so on, okay, moving to the statue chance, the highest one uh, with statue chance is the uh, plague keyword, and then comes the Sifan, as you can see, Sifan, uh, uh, plague keyword have 22 statue chance, and crit chance 18%, Sifan have 20 crit chance and uh, 20 statue chance, and you get the idea. That's the and then the multi crit. All of them have the same multi crit. The difference is most of the times is on speed. The crit is so similar. Twenty eighteen. Uh, all of them have the similar crit. The difference is the big impact you find is on speed, on speed or impact puncture slash and viral. Okay, viral. Don't worry about viral because don't worry about. It. Now we move. We move on forward. Okay, so now we know about the uh, the strike. Moving down to the second part. Now, the strike need grip. You cannot just hold the strike and do like this. No, you need grip to hold the weapon. Okay, so there is different strikes. 
You get the idea? I'm gonna cover you all, guys. Don't worry. Just follow me slowly. You're gonna get it. So, the grip, my friend. This grip, there is types. The Corb, one hand. The Kiwath, one hand. The Laka, one hand. The Pei, one hand. The Plague Aquim, one hand. And then the Jayap and Kurostra and Sikala and uh, Shoot Stong and Black Bo uh, uh, Bokwin, two handed. Okay? But now, what's the difference? The difference is the damage bonus. Now, if we see the damage bonus, we find Corb has the highest and Sikala and PE have the lowest. But let me tell you something. This damage, it doesn't really, really, really matter, guys. Trust me when I tell you, speed matters more. Like, how to explain it? Imagine the speed is so small. Like, small, small, like the button in this key. Like, small, the, 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 uh, the damage. But the speed is as big as the Ramon. So which you prefer, the button or the, the Ramon? Of course the Ramon, because it's bigger, it's more huge. Because the Zos, if you don't go for speed, you're going to be like, uh, uh, uh. And trust me, Fury and Berserker Fury will not help you. No, because the weapon base is bad. Imagine you're building a low crit weapon. Crit. And then you fight against a high crit weapon built for crit. Who will win? Of course the higher crit. So, those based on speed. Speed is the key. Think about it. Memorize it. Speed is key. Okay? Let's move now to base speed. So, as you can see here, when we see, we can understand. We start to understand. Oh, Hank told us speed. Okay. So... PE for one hand for one handed is uh, is the best speed, and C Kala is uh, the best for two handed. Uh, you get it? Now you get it, right? Hank told us speed is key, so PE is best for one handed, and C Kala is best for two handed. Get it? Okay, don't worry about minus 4 damage. Nobody fucking care about minus 4 damage. Moving down. Now, here they give you an idea how they look. So, the Jayab minus damage plus speed. Core plus damage minus speed. And so on and so on and so on. This is how they look. Okay? There is nothing major about this. Now, let's go down to the links. Now, this is the links. Okay? Now, the link, what it means link? Now, you have the strike and you have the grip, right? There is something gonna link the two weapons to get to the link the grip and the strike. Okay? So like this. Something to link the two parts. Okay? Like you're forging a weapon now. Now you're forging a weapon. So you will need the strike and the grip and something to link them together. This is what is the link. Okay? Moving first. So now. The if there is J, Ruhang. Remember when I told you the normal ones without two? It means. Uh, they are basic, okay? So now we have. Let let's uh, fix them as uh, as this. Ruhang, da, uh, Ruhang J. Don't worry about it. Ruhang two plus damage minus speed. J two damage min uh, uh, minus damage plus speed. V uh, Virge, uh, Virget uh, Ruhang plus uh, plus damage minus speed plus critical chance minus statue chance, uh, and so on and so on and so on and so on. As you can see right here. Now, if we remember what Hank told us, is about speed, right? Okay. Now, there is something you need to understand about the link. Okay. As they have critical chance, they can go speed bonus, critical chance, statue chance, damage bonus. Right? Okay. So, for example, if you want to go speed bonus, okay, this one gives you minus. Guys, minus, minus, you get it? So, Aquana J gives you plus speed, minus critical chance, plus statue chance, minus bonus damage. Okay, so, I would like it, because Hank told the speed, right? Speed, mm, but, minus crit chance, man, but plus statue chance. So, if I want to build the weapon... Based on uh, statue chance, and yeah, I'm not gonna crit. I'm gonna go ahead, but uh, it's not so good. 
Now, if I go to J2, it have bonus, speed bonus, but no critical chance, no static chance, and minus damage. What the heck is this crap? Now, if I go to uh, Virgit J2, okay, this looks interesting. We have speed bonus, which is at the highest, critical chance plus 7, minus statue chance, and minus uh, bonus damage. This looks good for critical build. Speed, so I skewed myself. I have speed bonus, I have critical chance, statue chance because I, I'm not going to build the weapon for statue chance like pure. It's going to be affected later on by the uh, statue chance bonus. Don't worry about that. It's going to be crit and speed. So, minus 4% will not hurt me, right? So, critical, but plus 7% crit, it's awesome. Plus 7% crit and speed available. Nice. Damage bonus, I don't care about it, okay? Now we have Aquana J. Aquana J, minus critical chance, no. We move, we move next. We have a minus critical chance, no. Nothing, no. Version J, let me see, da, da, da. but there is version 2J. Hello, baby. So, we have 0 0.083. Mm, okay. But that low a bit speed, that low a bit speed, they covered you in double of the critical chance, which is mm, awesome. So, critical, remember, like, critical chance, speed, like this. Speed, critical chance. They go together. Okay, and then if that's if you're building crit, crit chance. If you're building a uh, status weapon, you go speed, status chance, status chance, speed, speed chance. They go together. Okay, that's how you balance. If you're going, this is so related, guys, because this is the only weapon you are in control of the stats. If you're going for a uh, status chance, you go status chance, speed, and then if you're going for crit you go crit speed simple as that okay so now if we come in a conclusion what is our favorite ones that i saw so far so for me when i look like this how i understand i would go there get 2j if i want to build crit speed and critical chance okay i would go um vergent j2 if i want to go speed a bit critical chance and let's say okay you get it like this is the two options now what if what if if i want to let's say um for example uh build myself into a uh, more uh, status what would i choose what would you choose if you if if i look at it we try to check the lowest let's say aquana to ruhank have the highest uh, statue chance right but minus eight percent crit we wouldn't need my crit but the speed i don't like the speed you're gonna be very slow but you're gonna have high statue chance aquana to j the same but higher speed okay but minus crit okay so aquana to j is better aquana to j is better okay and so on perfect but for now think about aquana to j aquana to j for status uh let's say uh ver verget to j if you want speed and critical chance okay and you go uh where is the other one no 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 verget to j if you want a bit little uh a bit less speed but high critical chance that that's what you go uh, to and this advices is based on experience think about it. okay now as you understand this nerdish stuff we go back in the game and based on uh, what we learned right now I'm going to advise you, for example, what would you build? Okay. So, for example, I want to build dagger. Now, to the dagger fans. 
Okay, I want, I'm gonna build the dagger. I'm gonna give you examples now of what you can build. If I want to, ah, uh, me, me, Hank, Hank. If I want to build the dagger, I would go Bala. As you can read, also strikes used for dagger and staff style weapons. Its light weight increases speed at the cost of damage. Now, this this Bala can go staff and can go dagger. But what is best? I will tell you very, I will tell you how to understand what is best because each one of them like go uh, machete and polearm, uh, uh, rapier and polearm, rapier and polearm, like polearm, uh, whatever. This one go like seeth and heavy blade. How, Hank, how I know which one better I go? Simple. This one, how it look? It look like a dagger. It doesn't look like uh, staff to me. Get it? So, the way it looks, the strike, this affects only the strike, guys. This advice is just for the strike, remember. So, if it look like a good, like it look like a dagger, it is a dagger. Me, it, it can't go staff, doesn't mean it's gonna be good staff, okay? It look like a dagger, you go dagger. By the look of it. Like you cannot, this cannot be a sword. This cannot be a sword. This cannot be a sword. This, uh, for example, cannot be a sword. It's obvious. This, this, d d does this look to you like a reaper? Like, uh, like Sith, for example? This looks like a sword. This looks like machete. Okay? This looks like repair and polar. L look, I mean, look at this. You, you get the idea, the way it look. Now, what's the difference? Look, Bala, how it look and this one. This one can be a staff. For example, if I want to make a staff, I would make the uh, Ultha. Ultha looks good for a staff. Okay, Ultha looks uh, no, not bad for stuff. It looks nice as stuff. Okay, so moving forward. Now this one looks to me like a dagger. Okay, let's go. And it's the only one, by the way. Okay, now I'm going to choose my grip. All right. Now, which grip would I go to? My experience, uh, no, my, no, the knowledge transfer now. A Zou grip used for swords, machete, ra rapier, and dagger style weapons. Its lightweight provides an, incre uh, an increase in speed at cost of damage. We don't care about minus 4 damage, so we go P. Okay? Now the link, baby. The link, what would we go? What would we go? Based on experience, what we learned with that. If I want to go... Verget 2J. That means I'm gonna go for a critical chance. As you can see, series link of those that increase speed and critical chance at the cost of damage and statue chance. I'm not going statue chance. I'm going to fix it later on. The, uh, not fix it like that to what you think, but no. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you. The speed and critical chance and the cost of damage and statue chance. When you see the cost of damage, you think, oh my god, the cost of damage. No, no, no. No, it's so few, minus eight or whatever. Don't worry about it. As you can see here, look at this, guys. Critical chance, 22%, critical multiplier, look at this beauty. Look at this, okay? You get this? Now, if I want to build, what if I want to build a statue chance, Hank? What would I do? You go Vargate J2, okay? There you go. Statue chance, 4%. See it? Now this one. Look at this, and this one. And if you want to push it forward more in statue, you go Aquana 2 rank. There you go. You see this? Critical chance, zero. I wouldn't advise it, but if you want to go pure steady chance, go ahead. Dude, it's all, all up to you. But my advice, my personal advice to you. Verget 2J for critical chance and speed. Verget J2 for a bit critical chance and statue chance. Okay? So, Verget 2J for crit. Verget J2 for statue. So, I want to go critical chance to be honest. And kaboom. Alright. This is my weapon. Alright. And it is good. Okay. Critical chance 32% when it's gilded. And so on. Okay. Gilded means. As it's a guide. This one is a guide guys. Right. Gilded means. The weapon when it reaches level 30. You need to come back to this guy. Okay. And you speak to him. And you go other service. And guild. Your uh, uh, zone, okay? Simple as that. Now that's the dagger. 
What if I want to build machete? Hmm. What, what, what would look like the best as machete? For me, yeah, like, CF, right? Zoe Strike used it for machete and polearm style weapons. Has, now I'm going to get faster, guys, okay? Now, grip, what would I go? Remember, P, used for machete. So, da, na, na. Machete, swords, and repair. Very awesome. Let's go. Link, what would I go? The same. Vergent to J for uh, crit. Vergent J2 for uh, statue chance. Okay? So, for now, I'm gonna put this one. Now, this is my machete. Okay? Simple. Is it, now, it's becoming simple more, right? Now, it's getting better now as the, the knowledge is getting better and better and better. Okay? Now, all right, let me go back to him. So, now if I want to build a pull arm to the pull arm farm, what looks like a pull arm, guys, to you? Did that look a pull arm to, to me, right? So, we go to did that here, okay? It is Zoe Strike used for repair and pull arm. Repair, I don't like it as a repair, honestly. I mean, the repair, if I want to repair, I would go play Creepath, to be honest. So did that it looks like good for polar uh, good for polar okay but now the grip we cannot go P guys I mean it's small for polar it cannot be it's not logic okay so what I would pick what I would pick it's gonna be one of the long ones so this one used for staff and polar arms this one used for staff and polar arms this one used uh, for uh, heavy two-handed this one used for uh, staff and polearm style. It's lightweight, provide increasing speed and the cost of damage. This one increasing damage at the cost of speed. Remember what Hank told us? Okay, so, th so this is a no. Now, this at the cost of speed, no. This one, no. It's so basic, it doesn't have any bonus. And the bottom one, no. Uh, it's called the shoot stung. So see color, my best choice. Go see color, and you already know version spear crit chance, steady chance, crit chance, steady chance. Let's go. This is my best polar. Okay, there you go, guys. Simple as that. That's your polar, baby. Okay, now moving. What if I want to be Sith now? Okay, what Sith would I do? What, what looks like to you like a Sith from this list, guys? What look? To me, directly. Dark Ram. A light zone strikes of Sith for he of heavy blades weapons. Lightweight for, sla uh, for fl flash uh, and bite. Okay, let's go. Grip. What would you use as a grip? The answer is... P. You got it right. Okay? Now, we use the P. And now, same. Aquana J, uh, no sorry, uh, Vergent G2J for crit, Vergent J2 for steady chance, easy, and uh, now this is my Sith, look at it, it looks like Sith, no, look, okay, here how it gilded. it, boom, easy peasy, okay, now, what if I want to build pull arm, ah, uh, now this gets tricky because, I want, for example, to build, for example, a second pull arm because I built the, the, the detat. But I don't like the detat, for example, you want to build another pull arm. Okay? So you go for crunch. Crunch is very good. Used for machete and pull arm. This doesn't look like machete. Rebecca, please, 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 please. Please. Does this look machete to you? Please. It looks like. Pull arm, okay, but machete, how this is a machete? How the heck you, what you heck you thinking? <clears throat> Sorry guys. Okay, crunch. What would I use? Sikala, you get it right. The link, same. Crit or statue? Crit. You can switch statue, it's a build. This is a build. I'm giving crit or statue chance, up to you what you can build. Whatever you want to build. Here you go. Huh? Looks good, pull arm, right? Look at this. Very good stuff, guys, right? Okay, now, if I want to build a sword, sword baby, what is for you? Like, I will let you choose. What looks like a sword to you? Uh, I know there is two more down there. You cannot see, guys, uh, the Sifan and the Rabvi. But, uh, here, uh, wait. Hold on, guys. Here, here you go. You see them? 
the Rabbi and the Sifa right there. Don't worry about it. So what it what it looks to you? Me one, hundred percent. I would love the guy using it. You see the guy using it right there. And now look, even he, the NPC, look at him using the stuff. Okay, so me one as a sword. It doesn't look like polar arm. Please stop you. Why are you putting it as? Okay, I'm not gonna stress myself out. There. Okay, let's go. So what would I use? Pay as always. Okay, what I'm gonna use the link. Let's go. Varget to J for critical chance. Varget J2 for what? Statue chance. Okay, here you go. This is your sword, my friend. I know it looks good. I know you like it. Yes, baby. Look at this. Okay. Simple as that. Now, moving forward. What if I want to build a staff? What would I choose? Simple. What does it look like staff to you here? This one? It looks very different from the uh, Bala. It have like this and the two small lines. It looks like uh, a staff. Okay? So, go Ulta. And then for grip, we're gonna go. What we're gonna go? Sikala. And then for the link, what we're gonna go? Chance or statue? Chance. Let's go. Gilded. There you go. Is it staff, no? At the, from the picture, you would think, ah, it is. Uh, no, it's not sharp. Look at it. It's not sharp. If I switch, for example, to uh, the bala, it is sharp. You see, it's sharp bala. This one, it's not sharp. It's a staff, guys. You see? Pay attention to the uh, small details. Okay? They designed them for a reason. Except they making a sword as a machete. Okay, so now I want to be the hammer. I am a hammer boy. Pua! I want to smash things. Mm, what would you pick? The Rab V, which is this one. Okay, the bottom. The Rab V, it looks like a hammer to me. Okay, and then a grip. What would you pick? Grip? Sikala. A hammer. You cannot be small hammer. You're not gonna knock needles. You know? You know what we're talking about, right? 2J for this and version 2J for statue. So there you go, critical chance hammer. And there you go. Big hammer, baby. All right, there you go. This is my personal choice and this is how you should do it. If you, 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 you think you should do it in another way, good for you. Don't worry, let us know in the comments below if you want to change something different, okay? Now, if I want to build, for example, in Nikana. Ah, what is the fans of Nikana, baby? Let's go. See, fun. Easy. Okay, grip. What would you pick as grip? Pay a baby all day long. Where is it? There you go. Link. What would you link? Of course, critical chance and speed. There you go. Kabo. Here is your Nikana, baby. Here is your Nikana. The see, fun. And this one can beat who? Nikana Prime at certain points. I mean, every weapon when I see it, I if he, I have memories with the weapons, guys. Okay, so now I want to build, for example, another staff. I'm trying to cover for you all, guys. But another staff. What would you pick? Play QR. This looks like a mage staff. Play QR, and I want I, 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 what we're gonna use with it. We're gonna use Sikala, and we're gonna use as always. You know, we're gonna be using the either Vergen 2J or up to you. There you go. There is another staff. There you go. All right. There is your staff. Simple as that. Now, what if you want to build the best rapier? Let's go. Which is the last? Now, uh, like this, we covered them all. Okay. So play Kiri Path. We're gonna use the uh, PE as uh, because it's a small sword, like the uh, French sword, <laughs> Zoro style. Now, we're gonna go version or up to us what we want to build the weapon. So, we're gonna create always. I'm a fan of create. And there you go, guys. Here is your, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The rapier. There you go. So, now, if you want to build a dagger, balapei. If you want to build a machete, you go uh, CFMP. If you want to build the staff, you can go Ulta or you can go play QR with uh, Sikala. If you want to build pole arms, you can go with Dietat and uh, Sikala. If you want to build the sword, you can go Miwan and PE. If you want to build Sith, you can go Dokram and PE. If you want to build a rapier, you can go play Kripath and uh, PE. If you want to build a, a critical chance, you go for Varga 2J. If you want to build critical chance, uh, a critical, uh, sorry, a static chance, you're going to go Varga J2 and so on. 
Okay? So now, tell me something else. Tell me that you didn't learn anything now. Tell me you didn't learn anything, I throw myself from the wind. Tell me you didn't learn anything. I am uh, first floor, so I'm not gonna be hurt, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> okay? You see that? You see that? Verget 2J is crafting because I'm crafting you weapons, guys. Different styles is gonna be built about the zone. Why? Ha how Hank does it? The way I do it, guys, very simple. I give you the guide and then I deliver the builds. I don't want it to be like, what the heck? Look at that PE blueprint. I'm crafting a lot, guys. Okay, for different stuff. So, what is it, guys? Tell me. I give you the. I give you the beginner guide and then what i do i give you what the builds so if you are a new player or something you can always find the guide and always find the build in this channel and guys if you want to support the channel okay this is not twitch it's not gonna be donation or something no 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 guys if you want to support the channel hit the subscribe button like the video let me know in the comments below it Trust me, guys, every single comment of you means a lot to me. Every single one. And I'm so glad to have you all. And I'm so happy to find and build such a community as we go as far. And really, guys, it means a lot to me. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Don't forget to sub, comment, and like. Stay safe. And what's left to say? Let me know if you need anything else. We have a Discord link on the description. I hope this video will be informative for you. Enjoy. Have fun. I'm exhausted. <laughs> this is not easy, guys. I squeezed my brain. Thank you, guys. And bye-bye.